Hi, my name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing The Menu, directed by Mark My Lloyd and starring Anya Taylor-Joy, Han Chow, Nicholas Holt, John Leguizamo, and Ray Fiennes. Anyway, this film tells the story of Margot and of Margot, played by Anya Taylor-Joy. She is attending a fancy dinner with her companion Tyler, played by Nicholas Holt. And attending this dinner includes a trio of investors, a, pa a wealthy couple who are regular customers to Hawthorns, a pair of pretentious fo food critics, and a washed up actor. Anyway, so they are attending th this restaurant called Hawthorns, and at Hawthorns is the head chef, Julian Slovic played by Ray Fiennes, who plans to serve up more than just pretentious food to his customers. So, first off, let me just start by saying the cast is amazing. Standouts include Ray Fiennes, who speaks, who despite being softly spoken, is terrifying. Like, literally just standing in the background is enough to make your heart beat out of your chest. That's how terrifying he is. Also, Hong Chao as a Slovak's right-hand lady in the kitchen, she's also terrifying as well. Again, she's soft-spoken and seems nice, but somewhere under there is a uh, just a very scary person, like interacting with customers. Like at one point, one customer, you know, asks for bread and she just leans in and whispers a terrifying statement. It's like, Ugh. Just enough to make you shrivel back in your seat. Also, Nicholas Holt as the pretentious foodie Tyler, he is great as well. He clearly loves food, yet he is clearly uh, an apathetic person to the uh, well-being of other people. It makes It's really good just cutting to his reactions as the night becomes more twisted and terrifying. Really good there. Also, Anya Taylor-Joy as Margot, the, as it's great, she is a great uh, character who is, well, Anya Taylor-Joy does a great job trying to outsmart the head chef and escape from the culinary hell from whence she has been cast into. Really great there. Also, John Leguizamo as the washed up actor. He does a good job playing a man who clearly has some regrets with his life and his career, yet he still takes pride in at least a few things that he's done. Also, the cinematography. The cinematography does a great job of capturing the food and it makes for some really good food porn, what can I say? And it also does a great job of showing the, how dire the predicament is for the customers as the film uses a lot of overhead shots to make all the customers seem tiny and vulnerable. Really great stuff. The screenplay also does a great job of slowly ratcheting up the tension slowly and uh, dispensing exposition by piecemeal ra rather than dumping the exposition outright. Really good. It also it provides a lot of darkly comedic material for the actors to work with. Some of the best material just involves the, the uh, restaurant staff as they, as they sincerely try to provide the best restaurant experience possible to the customers while also treating them in brutal fashion. Like literally, one person gets hurt in horrific fashion and like 10 seconds later, the restaurant staff is back to Oh yeah, here is your uh, ring back, sir. You dropped it. It's like really good stuff. I really enjoyed that as well. Plus the screenplay manages to provide uh, good commentary about uh, critique in general for food and also what I'm guessing is a metaphor film as well. In fact, any art in general for critique of, of well, critique in general, it's really good. Plus, the screenplay also manages to avoid turning uh, Ray Fiennes' character into an anti-hero. Like, in this film, he is an outright villain, and I enjoy that the film embraces that. Because the film goes, bends over backwards to show that while uh, the head chef does have some good points, he's also kind of off his rocker. Like, at one point, he literally uh, compares his struggles to that of African Americans by quoting uh, Martin Luther King Jr. It's like, um, yeah, mm. 
Again, like I said, that's part of the comedically dark material. So, with all that in mind, thanks to impeccable casting and whip-smart writing, I... Uh, the, the menu will serve up all audiences all they hunger for and then some. So with that in mind, I will be giving the menu four and a half out of five stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, did you like the menu? Why or why not?